R tutorial number two, getting to know R and R Studio. In this tutorial, we will take a look around R and R Studio and get to know the software a little bit. With R, we have both a standard graphical user interface that you see here, and we can also use R Studio that you see here um, for our calculations. Both editors work the same way and have the same commands. They just look a little different. Both programs provide you with a console window which lists some of the basic info such as the version of R, trick or treat right now, and the licensing conditions that we have under R. And below this you'll also see the R prompt, which indicates where you type your commands into R. You can type commands here, press enter, and R provides a response. So for example, I want to know what 2 plus 2 is. I press enter, and I see that 2 plus 2 equals 4. There are also several other important windows to R that I want to discuss in this tutorial. For the rest of my examples, I'm going to use R Studio. But if you choose to use the basic R editor, any code will work the same here as it does in R Studio. So now that we have R Studio open, I want to go through some of the different windows and functions with you. First, though, I'd like you to go up to File, click on New, and click on R Script. Now that's going to open a script file or a source file so you have all of the possible windows open in R Studio right now. Starting with um, this window on the top left corner of the screen, this contains a text editor that's going to let you work with source script files. Here you can enter multiple lines of code, save your script file to disk, and perform other tasks on your script. This code editor works a bit like every other text editor that you've seen, but it's smart. It recognizes and highlights various elements of your code. For example, as we go through, you'll see that there are different colors for different elements, and it also helps you to find matching brackets and parentheses in your scripts, which can be very important at times. Here in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll find the console. And the console is the same as the one that we just looked at in R. And here, this is where you're going to do all of your interactive work with R. Up here in the top right hand corner, you see an overview of your workspace and your history, these two files. And here you're going to be able to inspect the different variables that you create throughout your session as well as the, the different values that are involved. So for example, if we go over here to the console, I'm going to create a variable x and I'm going to assign it the value of 5. And now that you can see, now that I have created, created x, you can see it up here with, assigned to the, the value 5 in your workspace. It also appears in the history as a command that I just completed. So over here now on the bottom right hand corner, you have access to several different tools. The first that I have open here are your files. And this is where you can browse the folders and files on your computer to find different types of R scripts that you may want to be using in your session. Next to it, we also have a plots window. This is where R is going to display your different plots, which refer to charts or graphs. We'll be discussing this more throughout the semester. Next to that is the packages window. So this is where you can view a list of all the installed packages. A package here is a self-contained set of code that adds function functionality to R, similar to different add-ins that you have for different programs. And then finally, you have the wonderful help window over here. This is where you can browse the built-in help system of R and help you find help with just about anything and any type of command that you may need. RStudio is going to be our basic workspace in SOS 210. Now that you've seen this overview, I'd like you to take some time to look around. You can look at the ways that you can customize the editor under preferences. You can also check out some of the different help options and also try entering some commands on your own to see how the console and R is going to work for you.